Hi, Adam from Audio Imperia here, and in this video we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be taking a look at our new cinematic guitar library, Kitara. Now, Kitara is a whole bunch of different sample guitars. We have flamenco guitar, we have 12 string guitar, and we also have some lesser known instruments and less used instruments like quattro and dobro and the balalaika as well. And we have a walkthrough if you want to look at the technical aspects of this library and see really what it can do. So that would be good to look at if you want to see how the library actually functions. But in this video, I just wanted to play through some of the presets and really just get a feel for what the library can do and how much fun and how inspiring it is to use. But to do that, I wanted to do it with someone else who could show us a different side of the library and that I could work with to really show you what this library is capable of. And I thought, who better else than my good friend and Audio Imperia partner in crime, Tom. So I have Tom here with me today. How are you doing, Tom? Are you good? Hey, I'm good, Adam. I'm looking forward to Great. this. Thank you for having me. And this is going to be no, really good No, no, this is... This is going to be very good fun. Um, so yeah, I think we can just dive right in. Uh, this library is great fun to use. It's been made uh, in partnership with our good friends, Native Instruments, and I think it's just come out brilliantly. I'm so excited to show you how it works and what it's capable of. So I'm going to start this off, if that's okay, Tom, and I'm going to use one of our presets called Acropolis. Now, this is using a quattro along with some pads, and it's just instantly inspiring to me. It's one of those, as soon as I heard the quattro sustains, it instantly started making me think of something like skulking around an ancient Greek citadel or something and then built this whole you know preset based on this idea of just having an instantly playable um, toolkit that you could just use and start sort of writing with straight away. So I'm just going to play you a little bit of this. I love that. It's great. It's just a scoring, you know, you just score with it straight off the bat. Um, sounds fantastic. And yeah, I love it. It's brilliant. Yeah, it's really cool. Super inspiring as well. Like you can just start writing a whole track with that. Pretty much a lot of these presets are like that. Exactly. I think that was the whole approach really, wasn't it? Just to sort of, you can open it up and just instantly start getting something together and then build on that. So what have you got to show us? I'm excited to see your first choice. This first one is quite a simple one but it effectively kind of sets the mood you have these kind of minor arpeggios playing throughout so this is how this one sounds it's called 20 years later and as that's sustaining you can play other notes over it if you just quickly play it like this And you can just kind of see how you could easily set the tone for that. You could even turn off the attack layer and just have the arpeggios. There's a kind of bed and then do other stuff over it. So much you can do. That's great. I love that. I love the sound of that. That is brilliant. Um, so I'm going to show you something totally different because what I love about this preset really is that this is, you know, a guitar library. So you, you kind of off the bat think you know what it's going to do, but there's so much here and there's so many different pads and so many different sound design layers that you can really do something completely unexpected. And I think this is one of those that sort of highlights that. So this is called Broken Radio and it pretty much does what it says on the tin. So, I mean, this is just pure sound design, you know, great as a texture or if you just want some really creepy ambience yeah super cool and you made that one adam right i did yeah i mean this is just two sustained layers i just chose a couple of cool layers and then we've got a whole bunch of ways to manipulate these you know you can see we've got these different layers we've got these different controls that we can use we've got a whole bunch of fx as well so you can really get into the weeds with these and just create something totally crazy and yeah as i said you can almost get into sound design with this if you want to so it's far more than just uh, a bunch of different guitars there's so much stuff in here to have fun with yeah it's awesome i 
we will get to some more sound design patches soon as well. The next one I'm going to go for is slightly different. Dystopian Drone, Aftertouch, this one. This won't sound like guitars at all, but it gives you an idea of what you can do, especially with a, if you have a keyboard with polyphonic aftertouch. This is what this preset is utilizing. So if you want to access that, it's in the settings page, Aftertouch, and you'll hear that it's adjusting the tuning. by pressing the keyboard the the note down then you press it harder and after touch is then affecting the pitch here that is instant cinema that's instant cinema that's yeah. great i'm in danger of overusing that one you know i have to be careful yeah. but uh, that is so good use it in my demo track right at the end already overused there we go it's gonna there be everywhere go. oh i think <laughs> i remember it now actually funny enough i was sat there thinking oh, where did that sound come from it came from yeah. guitar. it all makes sense <laughs> i was thinking it was there something it completely different <laughs> oh, right there. man that is cool <laughs> So I'm going to show, we're getting, I, we seem to be going through a, a dark dystopian patch now, because I'm going to show you one called Dark Clouds. And this is cool. I mean, this is great. The, the guitars are quite heavily processed here. So even though they're all very natural, organic guitars, they almost sound like electric guitars or like heavily processed guitars here. Love the way they sound, you know, really interesting. And it just shows what you can do with this library. Because I said, these are all very beautiful guitars that have been mm. lovingly sampled up in Scotland, but <laughs> you can make them sound really dirty and gnarly and do something really interesting with them. Yeah, I think that's the the overdrive layer on that one, the attack layer, yeah. overdrive. That's so cool. It's got such a nice characteristic to it. I'm going to take a look at Droplets. Where is this? Here we go. That's also in the demo track I wrote. Uh, this one utilizes the effects a bit in the character setting diffuse there's a delay on there and i've clicked the metronome in order for it to be tempo synced and whatever tempo you are at this will te uh, sync to that As you hold down that sustain, you have these tenuto re-triggers and the crescendo swells and fragments that are coming in. And I believe, if I remember this correctly, the reverb is this, yeah, that's it, dry ice ambient effect. And it gives it that kind of whoosh you'll hear at the end. Yeah, it's got this really cold bloom about it, it's great. Yeah, super cool. So much fun to be had with that. Definitely check out that effect. There's so much texture in there, you know? I mean, that's what's great because I mean, there's so many different ways of bringing texture to this library. You've got yeah. obviously the sustains, then you've got all kinds of different pre-recorded textures and motions. Then you can add fragments on top, you know, then you can play around with it. The, there's so many different ways to get texture into this. And that's what I love. I mean, it's just, it's so inspiring when you just want some movement in a track or you just want some movement in a piece that you're writing. This library brings it in spades. It's so cool. Yeah, uh, and absolutely. I'm going to carry on with that theme, I think, now. So Let's I've got it. one here called Dreams of Home. Very whimsical, very nostalgic here. But it's the same thing. You know, it's just so much texture going on. Really beautiful patch.
Lovely. And just a little bit of module at the end then just to control some of the different parameters, get a little bit of fragments in there, a bit more of the diffuse setting as well. Yeah, Beautiful. Nice. Super cool. I think I'm going to go for something a little bit different. One of my favorites, cinematic soundscape. This, we're going to go away from the guitar sound. And this is using some of the sound design layers. just get lost yes. in that and start writing something <laughs> yeah that is great i thought you're gonna carry on i, I, I forgot we were making a video i was just out here listening <laughs> every uh, single time i use that patch i just get lost in it <laughs> that is so good i just love i love how dynamic it is as well with that mod wheel yeah. it really opens up you know it's like yeah. there's so many different things going on and uh that's great i don't know yeah. how it does it but it almost sounds like there's this like like sand blowing you know it's yeah yeah super cool yeah, it's really hard to pick out what's happening, but it, it, it all sounds good. I feel like we've gotten a bit too happy recently, though, so I'm going to bring it back, Ooh. bring it back down into the sewers with this weird patch called Resonant Evil, oh. no pun intended. Yeah, this is just, I mean, again, a perfect example of just what crazy sound design you can get out of this. And nice. you, know, you can do everything from these beautiful, soaring, angelic, you know, really whimsical sounds right through to well, something like this. Nice one to chill out too on a Friday <laughs> evening to yourself, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's so relaxing. <laughs> it's got some real character to it. But you know what I love about the presets that we we all worked on is that there's so much. In, as soon as you use it, it's not like it's telling you what to write, but it instantly gives you an idea of like, oh my god, I know exactly what I could use this for. And yeah. I think that's so yeah. inspiring. That it just you can grab something and you want to go write a piece of music with it. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. That's what we all want, really, isn't it? Libraries that just make us want to write and make us want to get lost in this kind of stuff. All right, now I'm going to go with a preset that is the opposite of that previous one. Polyphonic Aftertouch Madness. Let's have a look. <laughs> slightly different quite all that over the place some probably else. the most experimental <laughs> that is yeah definitely unique um i'm gonna try and get that in my next five projects definitely yeah it's just it's kind of amazing what a range you can get out of this library you, know, you can get these really beautiful textures but you can also just do frankly crazy stuff like this if you want to uh and that polyphonic aftertouch just really creates some wacky effects if you want them all right what should we go into next I'm going to look for something different. I'm going to look for a pad and I found this one called Skywood and I really like this one. It's really beautiful.
again, I really love how much depth and how much kind of, you know, movement you can get in these things. Perfect kind of interplay between the pad like textures and all these really interesting guitar sort of um, motions and textures going on over the top. Sounds absolutely gorgeous. Mm. Yeah, I remember. I remember that one. It's a cool pad. Really nice pad. It's really cool. I'm going to go with this one feels like an underscore in a box. Like you can just go straight into creating something. My favorite. Yeah. Let's have a look. so simple so effective no more to be said no more to be said that's great it's funny because yeah sometimes when you start playing i'm like get, i'm getting pulled into the whole drama of it you know i kind of don't want you to stop uh that's beautiful man that sounds great and i think i've got one of yours here next um this one's called first frost and this is kind of guess what you might call a kind of toolkit multi-purpose thing um just have a listen to some really beautiful interesting sort of sustains and things going on here interesting really beautiful sounds um yeah i just love it i mean it's great and it's just again another side of this instrument you know different guitar types different pads different sound design layers um so many ways to just create as you said kind of underscore in a box or like you know just a just a one one patch that you can instantly start writing with yeah. and then if you want to add some extra layers in there or put some extra instruments in you can but uh, you can get so much out of this line yeah it's so cool i've got a couple here that i'm going to show you that um have that kind of plucked character but a little bit different uh this one is earth i think this was made by yan in something like that it's a beautiful patch and then that's an great yeah that's beautiful another similar one is agora meditations which i made slightly more limited range on this one a bit calmer like this bring up the mod wheel super versatile like they're such good little cue starters or background yeah. things yeah, so good. It's kind of interesting that we all seem to have been like inspired by this to create these kind of interesting Roman and Greek yeah. and ancient sort of sounds. We've all gotten um, gotten into those kind of big fantasy and, and medieval and you know, historical epic sounds, you know. To take it completely away from that, let's take a look at, just to show you the variety in, in this product, uh, modulating wheel. This one is all in the, the mod wheel. Uh, let's see down here so with this one what's happening is yes the volume's being affected but this biggest thing is actually the tuning on just one of the layers so all the others stay at a certain pitch 
but it's the tuning that's changing on this middle layer, and you'll see what this does. That's cool. That is very cool. And that was all just mod wheel in that case that was creating these different raises. Yeah, and just mod wheel. Yeah. That's really cool. I love that one. So I'm going to go back to something a little bit more sort of textural here and using some of those great, you know, uh, motions that we've got going on. This one's called Butterflies Flutter. And again, you can use the mod wheel here. Create some really nice movement, really nice dynamics. You can just do something more intimate with it if you want, just single notes or two notes. Yeah, I love that, got so much texture to it. Yeah, it's a, it's a cool patch. I'm gonna go with, continue with the letter B. I'm gonna look at besieged. I mean, it's great because it sounds like you've got almost like two or three different things layered up there, you know, in terms of like you think you normally need two or three instrument tracks to get all these different swells and motions and, yeah, yeah, and things, yeah. but it's all just one patch, instantly playable. Yeah. That sounds great. Beautiful. Absolutely. So I'm going for something slightly different here. So, of course, one of the things that we can do in Katara in terms of um, changing the instruments is we can also affect the uh, tuning of the instrument, we can tune things down and that can create all kinds of different sounds, interesting bass sounds as well. So I really like this one. I think you might've made this one as well. It's called Muted Bass Plex and this yeah. is great. That's just great. It's really unique, really interesting. It's a bass, but not a traditional bass. You know, it's not like a bass guitar. It just sounds great. Yeah, and that is just guitars pitched down. There's no, there weren't any kind of bass guitars uh, sampled for this. No, no. I'm going to go with, I think there's one down here, Ridgeline, that I'm looking for. That is beefy. I mean, again, it sounds like you've got like a like a synth bass and a <laughs> pad and a texture. It sounds like, like three or four different instruments going on there. All just one patch in guitar. It's literally just the steel string guitar, and I'm pretty sure it's just the sustain layer pitched down by an octave. Yeah, I do have the sub boosted. 
So uh, that helps. I mean, I was like, why, where's this coming from? You know, we got some sign base down the bottom there or something. But no, it's all in the library. That's great. Um, I'm going to show you one now, sort of emotions patch. You know, I think this was actually made by our developer extraordinaire, Jonathan, in one of his uh, rare ratings away from, from the software into the actual music. But uh, this is beautiful. I think this is great. Really nice, complete opposite to the previous patch. You know, that was all low end and really, really huge. This is much more sparse, intimate, closer feeling, uh, beautiful sort of high end motions and textures. Again, just shows how much you can get done with this library. Absolutely, just really shows you the versatility. It's honestly so cool what you can get out of this. I'm going to maybe choose this Macquire. Let's have a look at Macquire. Nice, simple, intimate, just very beautiful, straightforward guitar there with a little bit of uh, pads going underneath as well. Absolutely. Beautiful. So I'm going to go and look at another kind of arpeggio based one. These are mostly pre-recorded arpeggios as well. And a bit like we had the minor arpeggios, this one is a major arpeggio. So it sounds like this. Really nice, really simple, all just single notes, but sounds fantastic. Yeah, it's super nice. You can use that as like a texture in something and then yeah. build on top of that, like use it as a drone that's kind of bubbling away yeah. and layer it with some other things. There's so many, so many cool things that you can do. I think we're gonna look at one that you made, Adam. Okay, Pretty cool. sure this is this one. Really liked the sound of this one. I was playing around earlier with it. There's so much aftertouch in this, you have to play so soft. Very cool. Nice, yeah, it almost sounds like, you know, Viking war horns or yes. something. It's uh, cool. I'm going to look for a final uh, look for me. I'm going to take another pad. This one is called Effortless. And um, I don't actually know why it's called Effortless, but it, it is pretty effortless to play. So I'm going to, I'm going to presume it's maybe called Effortless for that reason. Love that one, beautiful. You have so many different 
kinds of instruments that aren't just you know like an acoustic guitar or a classical guitar there's so much scope to this which is super fun yeah it's been really well curated in terms of the instruments that were chosen and, and yeah. the sound sources that were captured all right i can go through a couple more if we want or should we 100 yeah. percent. i would love to hear okay so i'm just going to jam around with these and let's see what comes out <laughs> so cool this is great at this point i'm just a spectator I'm just, loving it. I'm just play for me tom i'll just sit here and watch beautiful have you got any more to show us yeah i'll do two more let's do this cool two more Right, and to end it, we're going to go with Snowed In. This is a nice soft pad. Again, shows you how you can really have something that doesn't sound like a guitar from a guitar product. beautiful going off into the sunset you know great way to end um yeah i mean i think this is it we've gone through a whole bunch of presets and you know there's still plenty more to go through if we wanted it as well we could have made a video three or four times as long and still not reached the bottom but i think it really just goes to show what this library is capable of you know you can use it for sort of relatively standard typical guitars but if you want to go into textures motions pads soundscape effects sound design there's so much here it's a really easy engine but also incredibly deep if you want to get into that uh, as well so yeah i mean i love it i'm really proud of it i think it's it's come out really well and um yeah i'm very excited to get using it in the future yeah and i think it's it just to kind of add to what you were saying adam this there are so many presets with such variety of sounds that we yeah. kind of crafted into try and make this as versatile and as usable as possible and I think there's so much that you can kind of get started with and you don't even have to tweak anything and you'll have so much inspiration from this. But at the same time, you can really go in and make your own presets, adjust things like there are so many. If you click into all these different layers, you can really go deep with this and get lost in it and make your own, make it really your own if you really want to. So there's, there's great. I think there's a lot for any kind of user in this. Absolutely, yeah. It's a library that's going to grow with you, I think, as you as you sort of move in your composing journey. It's great fun. Uh, so thank you so much, Tom, for joining me for this. It was great to have a chat with you about this. Great to hear some of your favorite presets. Great to hear you play as well, man, because you just really made it sound beautiful, bring the best out of the library. 
Uh, so thank you so much for joining me. And of course, thank you guys for joining us as well. We really appreciate it. Hopefully this has given you some idea of what this library is capable of, some idea of what this library has to offer you. So thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you find it useful. As I said, if you do want to know a bit more about the technical aspects of the library, you can find that in our walkthrough video. But this one's hopefully given you a sense of the flavor of this library. And we really appreciate you joining us. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video.